In this video, we'll do an exam review of the Whipple's disease. A few exam questions before we start the topic. Question number one, what's the cause of malabsorption in Whipple's disease? Number two, what's the difference in the presence of T. Whipple in and out of the macrophages? Number three, which organism produces PAS positive macrophages other than T. Whipple Number four, which intestinal biopsy produces diffuse specific lesions? And number five, what's the treatment of dementia in Whipple's disease. Now Whipple's disease. Whipple disease is a chronic bacterial infection caused by gram positive bacillus Drosophila whipplei and affects the small intestine. The other organs affected are joints, CNS, heart, eyes, and lungs so it's a multi system organ disease in whipple's disease intestinal villi are widened flattened and stunted so there is loss of villus surface that leads to malabsorption villi contain densely packed macrophages in the lamina propria which obstruct the lymphatic drainage that leads to fat malabsorption so obstruction of the lymphatics leading to fat malabsorption and whipple disease is characterized by pas positive periodic acid shift positive macrophages in the lamina propria containing characteristic t whipple bacterial remnants in or out of the macrophages so the bacteria may be present inside or outside of the macrophages what intestinal biopsy shows whipple's disease the intestinal biopsy may show diffuse specific lesions and patchy specifically the disorder that cause diffuse specific lesions are whipple's disease a beta lipoproteinemia and immunoglobulin deficiency now the clinical features the disease mainly occurs in the middle aged Caucasian males and the GI symptoms are diarrhea, steatoria that lead to malabsorption. And what's the cause of steatoria? Number one, a small intestinal mucosal injury, and number two, lymphatic obstruction. They cause steatoria. Will I contain densely packed macrophages in the lamina propria, which obstruct lymphatic drainage and fat malabsorption? Enteric protein loss causes hypoalbuminemia and edema. There is lymphadenopathy arthralgia what type of arthralgia migratory large joint arthropathy and there is intermittent low grade fever what about dementia in whipple's disease dementia is a late manifestation of the whipple's disease but has a poor prognosis diagnosis of the whipple disease Intestinal biopsy shows diffuse specific lesion, stunted flat villi, PAS positive macrophage. So loss of villus surface leads to malabsorption. And there are PAS positive macrophages that contain T. whipple in and out of the macrophages. Presence of T. whipple outside the macrophages indicate an active disease or recurrence of the disease. Mycobacterium avium also contains PAS positive macrophages. So in addition to Whipple disease, infection with Mycobacterium avium patients also have PAS positive macrophages. Identification of the Tropopharema Whipple is done by polymerase chain reaction. Now treatment of Whipple's disease. Number one, it's a long treatment. Treatment of Whipple disease. Number one, initially treatment of people disease is with ceftrioxone or penicillin for two to four weeks followed by one year treatment with trimethoprim and sulfamethoxazole and number two treatment of the dementia antibiotic that crosses the blood brain barrier trimethoprim plus sulfamethoxazole or if trimethoprim sulfamethoxazole cannot be tolerated then proramphenicol now answers to the questions what's the cause of steatoria and malabsorption in whipple's disease cause of steatoria and malabsorption in whipple disease is number one the intestinal cells are injured and number two lymphatic obstruction in whipple's disease intestinal villi are wide and flat and stunted so loss of villus surface and malabsorption what's the difference in the presence of t whipple in and out of the macrophage Presence of T. whipple outside the macrophages indicates an active disease or recurrence of the disease. Which organisms infection also produce PAS positive macrophages? Mycobacterium avium infection also causes PAS positive macrophages. Which intestinal biopsy produces diffuse specific lesions? Diffuse specific lesions are produced by 
three disorders, Whipple's disease, A-beta lipoproteinemia, and immunoglobulin deficiency. And question number five, what's the treatment of dementia in Whipple's disease? Treatment of dementia in Whipple disease is antibiotic that crosses the blood-brain barrier, trimethoprim and sulfamethoxazole, or chloramphenicol.